So the United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. And it is an alliance that is strong and enduring. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, I'm here in Guatemala today. I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border. We've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. Space is exciting. It spurs our imaginations, and it forces us to ask big questions. Space, it affects us all, and it connects us all. One of the things I'm most excited about, but the other, you guys are gonna see, you're gonna literally see the craters on the moon with your own eyes. Oh my goodness. With your own eyes, I'm telling you, it is gonna be Unbelievable. So that's one of the things we can do here, too. Did Democrats fail past Democratic presidents, congressional leaders, to not codify Roe v. Wade over the past five decades? I think that, to be very honest with you, I, I do believe that we should have rightly believed, but we certainly believe that certain issues are just settled. Certain issues are just settled. Clearly we're not. Which is why we will work together and continue to work together to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work, to work together on, and I know we will work on this together. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time in terms of what we need to do to lay these wires, what we need to do to create these jobs. And there is such great significance to the passage of time when we think about a day in the life of our children. You know, when we talk about our children, I know for this group, we all believe that when we talk about the children of the community, they are the children of the community. We campaign with the plan, uppercase T, uppercase P, the plan. And then the environment is such that we're expected to defend the plan. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> but I see that over the summer, there have been like protests and demonstrations in astronomical numbers then with Palestine. But then just a few days ago, there were funds allocated to continue backing Israel, which hurts my heart because it's an ethnic genocide and the displacement of people, the same that happened in America. And I'm sure you're aware of this. And I bring this up also because of the issue of how Americans are struggling because of lack of health care, public health care, lack of affordable housing, and all this money ends up going to um, and funding Israel and back in Saudi Arabia and whatnot. And I think that um, the people have spoken very often in what they do need, and I feel like there's a lack of listening, and I just feel like I need to bring this up because it affects my life and people I really care about life. And this is just something that has to be I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. And again, this is about the fact that your voice, your perspective, your experience, your truth should not be suppressed. Because I represent the whole of the United States of America. <laughs>